Alright guys, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks to all those who came and hang out on the live stream last night. It was really fun. And I uh, got to hang out and answer some of your guys' questions. So that was fun. And uh, do some crochet in the meantime. And um, in today's video, I got a few pictures in. And uh, basically, unless I'm not sure if I'm going to start carpooling from the shop or not. If I do, then basically it's going to be picture videos for a while, or unless I make like a half uh, during lunch or something, unless I make a video like halfway through the day or whatnot. But um, in today's video, I worked on a few exit signs, which involved piping. First one you can't really see, there's a box in the ceiling, it's not that special, but basically I piped out of it down the wall with a 90, a couple bo or box offset, and then straight into the other box. Um, about like a one foot up. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then an, I did another exit sign on the other side of the hallway, which required a box offset and a, another offset to go around a pipe and a stud, a uh, top plate stud. Um, so basically floated that. Um, once I offset, I just floated it down and strapped it. Put a spreader bar in the wall and strapped it to that and then basically then i the 90 was going straight down and then i had to offset it into the box uh one more time so i didn't get a view from the from underneath of it to show you what the offset looked like but uh, i'll try to draw that draw that on the picture um and show you which pipe with the drawing or whatever so anyways did that worked on a fire alarm box outside or whatever fire alarm bell or whatever so basically whoever drilled the hole for the mc wire for the for the box or for the device basically blew out the back side of the concrete so basically just uh mounted a um four square blank with a hole in it to use as a support to cover the hole and mount the box too but the the mount to the box was too far away so basically just mounted that also to the concrete so anyways um did that and then at the end of the day i i didn't get any evidence of it but i moved some boxes in the ceiling for the occupancy sensors basically just screwed right to the wood ceiling and there was another thing i thought i took a picture of can't remember right now but um yeah, let me go check real quick. All right, lastly was the uh, double pull disconnect switch like I've showed you guys before at another job site, basically. Um, just for a unit in the ceiling and then that has a line and a load. And uh, yep, that basically does it. And so, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, this will all make sense shortly once i show you the pictures it'd probably be easier if i showed you picture talk about it picture talk about it but anyways um i don't have much time to edit today otherwise i probably would do that right now but i have to head out like right shortly so i just need to take a shower and leave so anyways i'm just gonna throw these clips together and uh, hopefully you guys don't hate me too much for that but you guys haven't been giving me any thumbs down so Appreciate that. Thanks for all the support, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It would help me out. I'd love to get to know you guys in the comments below. Uh, thanks for all the support. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Don't forget to check out the description for social medias and hit the notification bell only if you want to be notified when I live stream or upload new videos. Thanks, guys. God bless. Peace out.